<sighs> what a beautiful night. Here on my balcony. My table and chair. And officially welcome back to Rainbow Lands Rebirth. So, good morning, good evening, and or good night. I am your host, Immortal Nazora. And today, we're going to actually make a villager breeder. Right. We're making an iron villager breeder. This episode. Um, I think we're also going to take this down. Um, oh, quiet. I'm not going to take it down entirely. What I am going to do is get rid of the killing platform here. Make it automatic now. Uh, where they just fall down a certain amount of blocks and die. Because we don't really need it to be automatic. Um, now that doesn't mean I'm going to have to sit up there to AFK, but that's also perfectly fine by my standards. So, yeah, we need to build, uh, the iron farm, which I do have the old iron farm schematics up. Um, so, yeah, but as you can see, we are, we are not popping in the iron farm. Same thing with redstone, but luckily this farm does not use any redstone, but it does use a zombie. Which means that I gotta get a zombie up to the iron farm. Uh, which is gonna be the only pain in my ass, but uh, hey, it's, it's whatever. So yeah, I guess first things first is where should we be building our industrial zone? So as some of you may remember, um, I basically talked about, um, like, uh, removing the, oh, okay, that works removing our mob farm from here um removing that mob farm and moving it over into like an industrial zoned area so that's pretty much the basic plan is to have different zones kind of mapped out um and i don't know how big i want to make these zones and obviously some of them would have like extra zones some will be bigger, some will be smaller. I don't think I'm going to have a specific set size to how big the farms are. Um, so, yeah. But, but yeah. Uh, I guess let's set out to go find ourselves a industrial zone location. So, um... I think this might be where we build how do I open the JDI this might be where we build it um I've come across this area before I'll just find those but yeah I think we're gonna build it here we'll mark this as the center um I said pen haha I died apparently it's gonna take a while we're gonna flatten the area out um, and I don't have mending. Alright. I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna set up a, uh... <laughs> Alright. Plan. I'm gonna set up a villager breeder first. We're gonna set up a villager trading hall. And then I'm gonna make an iron farm. Uh, that way I can have mending and all that lovely stuff. But, before we go into the next clip, I would like to give you guys a nice little uh thank you uh we're almost at 500 views on the can you beat fallout 4 video and for being a video that is my second most uh viewed video out there the first one is the m1 grand ping which we did last or in 2021 so we're actually coming up on two years i did it march 1st 2021 and i thinking i'm gonna might i might rehash the m1 grand ping video um, it's a very simple video, um, but, you know, do a little anniversary. Uh, when I made the M1 Grand Ping video, that was my most viewed video for, uh, literally until this year, actually. That is my most viewed video until this year. Um, so, like I said, starting off 2023 with a banger of a video. Can you beat Fallout 4 with only a bow? If you haven't seen the video, I'm gonna put the, probably the thumbnail on screen. No, I'm just gonna link it in the description. Run through it an enti one entire day, you run through. 
I didn't bring torches with me. Ah, frick. Whatever. So, it was basically record for an entire day, and then it was edit. If I get all the recording done, edit in that same day. And if I did that, I, I could make, you know, daily videos that way. Um, but it, it got to the point where it was, like, super tiring and stuff. And, um, I'm gonna be transparent with everybody here. It's 2023. Let's be honest with each other. The year has been shit. We've lost Ken Block. Jeremy Renner's in the hospital. Uh, and I'm sure there's more people who have died or been injured. But. I straight up started uploading VODs to this channel. Because one. Um, I don't know what happened to the other channel. It still exists. So don't get me wrong. I don't remember. Um, like it's not on my computer anymore. So I have to figure out how to get. Um basically get my like email back and stuff and remember what email i used um because it's you know i have to make a separate email for it um i think i know what it is but i haven't i've just been lazy and haven't really all that much find it and get it back up. um but the thing was i started uploading vods because if you look back on my xbox videos um pretty much anything before Every video before Christmas of 2021, every video before Christmas of 2021 was all recorded on my Xbox. At a certain point, I started editing those videos down in a YouTube um, studio editor, which would, uh, which allowed me to have my streams go from an hour and a half or an hour down to about 30 to 20 minutes which was great uh we're gonna have the little chamber here um which it was great it was very good uh i have silk touch on my yeah okay so I ended up doing that, and those were all streams, and I would sit down, and I would edit down those videos in order, okay, if I put a villager here, I should be able to, yeah, alright, great, that was the whole idea. Um, just spruce wood for the rest of this, so yeah. Um, I would edit the videos down, and it'd be great. Last year, uh, pretty much near the end of the year, I don't know necessarily what it was that made me not want to do it, but I think it was the kind of working every day to make almost daily to other, every other day videos. Um, and that's why we ended up slowing down in Immortal Lands Rebirth, and most videos came out on a Friday, then I would stream twice that week. And then I would rinse and repeat. The next Friday a video would come out. Then it would be two streams a week. Unless I had something to do. Then I would find a way to make up for it. Um, and like it wasn't a horrible idea. Don't get me wrong. It wasn't the worst thing to do. But I think that's what ended up almost overworking myself basically. To the like that's what that was doing. This is essentially overworking myself. I don't remember how far I have to go out. And I don't think this is far enough. It has to be at least eight blocks, right? One, two, three, four. Uh, I'll try this. We'll see how this goes. Anyways, so yeah, and it got to the point where it's like I just didn't even want to edit any videos, including the ones that I was making for Fridays and stuff. Like I didn't even want to edit those down. Just like I, I got so literally just burnt out from. Oh. oh, perfect. I got so burnt out from editing and recording that it just got to the point where I was like, I don't even want to do this anymore. And for me, that was not a good thing because it's like, um, not that I necessarily want to stop doing YouTube, but I also don't make money, right? It's like, a lot of people, you know, they don't make it big, they might stop. 
And I probably would have, you know, I probably uh, would have done that. But I don't really care. I used to care so much. Like, it was bad, right? Like, it was like, how the hell is this video that I think is the greatest video on planet Earth not doing good? Like, how does that make any sense? And it was a weird thing for me to, like, think that way. But I was a child. I was a literal child back then. Um, so, yeah. But... Uh, this is the first block. Yeah, okay. So this is the first block. Then second block. These the slabs. And then I can move these blocks. But first I want to put a ring on the bottom side here. I should make out of slabs. Um, just the yeah, bottom slab will work because then things can't spawn on top of it. I'm beginning to learn. He's beginning to believe. By the way, ADHD brain over here. I, this this happens a lot if you watch the streams. Uh, this is why I, uh, kind of hate and, uh, love it. Oh, shit, why am I making this so low? What am I doing? This is block. I need the, this ring to go here. I am hyper-intelligent. Because I believe that there is a chance that the baby just shoot off to the side here. Um, I'm gonna make this all into spruce logs. I'm gonna go up three blocks. And then I'm gonna put a ring of slap on this as well. But yeah, um, That used to be kind of the mentality was like, if I'm not doing good, to stop. And then I stopped thinking that way. I was like, it's it's gotten to the point where I just, I don't care. You know, it's the same thing. Like, I see two people, want, like, zero to one people watching my stream. I don't care. I used to care, and I used to only look at, like, my view counter. But I don't care anymore. It's not that big of a thing to me. As much as it used to be. And, so yeah. But, yeah, the overworking thing just, I stopped editing the, <laughs> I've down the, uh, the VODs, and they were just becoming VODs, which, again, isn't entirely horrible. It was just, the point of the, this channel is, like, to not have VODs. If there's stuff on here from streams, it's supposed to be stream highlights, and the VOD channel is for, you know, VODs. Um... And then it was like I decided um, this. I decided this because I was editing. I wasn't editing them. I was like, oh, this, this, this channel is now just going to be uh, a mixture of odds and everything. So yeah. Oh, I made this. I made this not very good. I think I brought slap. But yeah, village green. Of which I have no. I literally do not have a single. Oh, are they going to take damage? Let's try this. Huh. and I can tap his head, and now we have villager. Alright, <clears throat> so we um, got the villager breeder kind of built here. I uh, brought villagers over. Um, we don't have a baby yet because we have to wait for, like, basically, um, I think, entity 
programming to kind of take over, so there's got to be enough boyos in there. I put this I put this glass above them so uh, lightning doesn't strike them when I'm over here. And I'm realizing that I built this thing out of wood entirely, and so it doesn't really matter, I guess, but whatever. Um, <coughs> but it does work, I think. I hope. Um, so if it doesn't, somebody in the comments, please let me know. Uh, because I haven't looked up a villager breeder, and I might look up if this even still works, because I remember this is how you used to do it. You know, in the comments, um, something. I didn't know what I was going to... Um, huh. My brain is fried. Let me know in the comments, though. That's... I, I remember now. <coughs> I probably cut it out of the video, but... Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys would like to see a, um... Fall Fallout 4 modded series. Um, that isn't like a can you beat style. It's just like a long playthrough of Fallout 4. I believe we talked about it earlier. Um, the whole fact that, like, that's what I was doing on xbox and then i just don't i i stopped doing it i don't i literally have no idea why i stopped playing it but i just stopped doing it uh we did two whole episodes uh much like most of my series from the early days i did two episodes and then i stopped doing it for some mysterious reason like i genuinely don't remember why um i just yeah i just <laughs> just stopped doing it so yeah, no, nope, there, there it is. There it is back, back there. I can't zoom in a uh, different direction. It's back there. Um, but yeah, same thing with like different series. Um, I am thinking about doing Sims 4 though. That'd be pretty fun. We can make Seikyo Mizor. I've already made, I have like 20 hours now. I haven't, I've been playing the Sims 4 for like three days straight almost. It feels like. I've been playing since like last Friday. Fabric. I also need to look back to see if replay mod is now out on Cursed Forge because for for whatever reason, I, I don't really know how to mod, but I know how to mod. Like I used Cursed Forge to mod Minecraft, and so I just open it with Cursed Forge. How do you get but like replay mod, right? Is not out for Cursed Forge, or at least the last time I checked, so I don't know how to, I don't know how to do that, so I'm gonna look up how to do it, maybe. So I'm now realizing that my plan was to bake a villager breeder so I could have a villager trading hall so I could then make the iron farm after flattening the land. I feel really stupid. <laughs> Because I, I was like, oh yeah, let me just grab the, the, cobble, uh, the cobblestone. Alright, I need more cobblestone. I don't have mending. Yeah, the whole point of me making this was to uh, have the stuff to get a uh, villager trading hall set up. Oh my god, I am very stupid. Rhinestone? What if I just get rid of the... That was the whole fucking issue. Okay. Why did I do that? I need to destroy you. Alright, um, we'll be... That has to be the luckiest... F Holy sh... Uh. Uh. Thank you. And it's very confuzzling to me. But for now, I'm just gonna build like a wall here that's three wide, and we'll just have like a hallway down here. Eventually, I will be making a actual beautiful looking village. But not right now. If you couldn't tell. So if I just, yeah, like they keep getting, I, I'm sorry, my bad. Like they keep, uh, 
it's like there's something down here. I've already explored this area, so you can yell at me as much as you want for using free camp to look at a thing that I've already seen. But it's like, I'm not seeing any workstations or, like, any beds and shit. But we come up here, and my mans... Mans just doesn't want to... Want to do anything. Like, bro. Composter. Also, um, apparently you need levels to pick up villagers. Awesome. Okay, that's great. That's cool. Um, I can't move you. I will place that there. Maybe if I put the other dude over here. <gasps> oh, I love you. Alright. So I've built this little uh, dispensing machine here so we can get easier... Uh, farming instead of having to like manually wait for bone meal and stuff or uh, yeah bones and bone meal my little farm also you guys want to see I it's been a while w welcome to I haven't used Java redstone in a while so this is how I yep I had I, I made so many items <laughs> like well, I made pistons and torches and then things were bud powering and I'm not used to Java edition redstone anymore uh, so we're just going to cover that up because it works. And, if it, you know, if it works, you know, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Uh, yeah, this is not how you villager breeder.
yeah, so then hopefully we actually have a villager breeder now. It's a bit ugly in the sky, but I mean, this is the industrial zone. I don't really care if it's ugly. If it's functional, that's all I care about. But I do think that our villager trading hall is going to be in our base, our starter base. Um, I think I'm going to keep it there as well. We'll just design it and make it look kind of cool. Um, because I have a kind of, I have an idea on how I want to do it. Um, so I kind of want our villager trading hall to be in like separate parts. Uh, so I want to have like a big middle room, um, which to get to, you go down that first hallway. Um, and then each wing will be, uh, individual, like, uh, <clears throat> guys. So one will be, like, a stonecutter wing, uh, one will be for, uh, like, pe uh, farmers, um, I don't know, stonesmiths? What are they called? Masons. That's what they're called. Each wing will be, uh, like, individualized. So that's kind of what I want to do for our trading hall. But I think what we'll do is next episode we will make an iron farm actually make an iron farm and then we'll also do the villager trading hall um so yeah i don't know how many guys i think i want to go eight eight of these dudes so like go eight down this way and then ping back and forth but yeah so that's kind of the plan unfortunately <laughs> I didn't get time to do the iron farm because we focused on getting that area terraformed. But, um, yeah. <clears throat> That's the rundown for tomorrow's... Tomorrow? For whenever I do the next episode. I'm not making it tomorrow. I gotta edit all of this. Today, so this gets out Friday. It's Thursday. I've been working on it for a couple days. Um, but yeah. See ya. You gonna make baby? Are you gonna make a child? Um, as I slowly fly over, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I have been your host, Immortal Mazora. Have a good day, a good evening, and or good night for whoever watches this whenever. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Immortal Land Rebirth, but most importantly in the next video, of which I'm not too sure what it will be quite yet. However... Uh, thank you guys so much for almost 600 views on the Fallout 4 video. Um, and most importantly, um, just thank you guys. We're over 100 subs now. I mean, that's pretty cool. Thank you guys for over 100 subs. Um, that actually feels good. We went into this year with 100 subs exactly. And here we are. Uh, with like 113. So that's pretty nice. It only took eight years, eight and a half years, nine years, but you know, whatever, uh, it's perfectly fine. Um, oh wow, the, as soon as I got really depressing, the sky got really depressing. Uh, <laughs> you can see, <laughs> bye, have, have a, <laughs> yep, see ya.